What it do, world? It's your boy, P.T. Davila, a.k.a. Poetic Thug, with my boy. Chief the Seminole. What's up? What's up, uh, my, uh, to all my couch boys out there? You know, what, what's going on, man? Hit us up. Let us know if you checked out that episode three. You know, let us know how that went, because I, I can tell you right now that that went fire, man. That was uh, probably my favorite one so far. And, uh, you know, like I said, I know we got some other ones coming up and and uh, in due time. But uh, but do know that episode three was fire, fire, baby. Man, that stuff was burning, bro. Like every single track from beginning to end was was dope, fire, whatever you want to call it, man. It just kept going, man. Even the people that was uh in the chat room, bro, they were talking about how, you know, how dope it was. And then uh, talking about how, you know, how hip hop, you know what I'm saying, is what was he saying about the hip hop man? That uh, it was a good day for hip hop. Good day for hip hop. Hip hop yeah. is alive. I mean, it, hey man, it's real, man. I mean, if you check it out, it's, it's not just. It was all different sounds, you know. So like it was, mm-hmm. it was from every aspect of every every type of hip hop, you know, all over the country, man. And and that's what was crazy, you know. That, you know, it, you know. You know, we're, we're down here in Lean Town, Texas, and, you you know, a lot of people think that, you know, we are just, uh, um, you know, only in Texas artists, and I, I tell you right now, we're not. I mean, we're, we're getting some from Michigan, uh, you know, uh, I believe uh, the C, the Siva Man was used to be out of New York. And, yeah, yeah, they you know, yeah, uh, New York and Cali, and, yeah. Yeah, I mean, so this is not just a local thing that's going down, and, and that, you know, hearing that and reading it in the uh, in the comments section on episode three, man, that was just straight, man, mm-hmm. that's straight love, man, straight love. I, I, and, I what, uh, and what people don't realize, man, is that we're actually the type of people that will be in the chat room to talk with every single person that, you know, that views the episode. You know, when, we, when it premieres, we'll actually talk back with you, you know what I'm saying? So it's all about showing love and, you know, we're humble. We're just trying to, you know, trying to get the y'all's music out, all the artists out there that are trying to get their music out. We're trying to help you out. Plus, at the same time, me and Chief, we enjoy listening to new music, you know what I'm saying, from new artists that we never even heard of before. Even people that we have heard of, you know, we enjoy checking out the new music that's out there that's coming out, you know? So. Well, you know, one one thing I can appreciate, uh, you know, saying that we're not, you know, it's not all local, but I'm telling you, the talent that we have found and hit up on here on local has been straight fire. I mean, songs that I hadn't even heard of, and I live here, and I don't know if that's a bad thing or what, or they're just not getting enough promotion. But this right here, you know, being able to put it on this platform, and, uh, you know, now I can go back to episode three when I want to jam that song again, or, you know, look it up on YouTube, and, you know, but, you know, much love to Mike Mix, uh, uh, Mike Lean, uh, Ruben G and uh, Little J, man, yeah. for real. What y'all brought so far is just, uh, man, keep keep pushing, brothers. Keep pushing. Yeah, man. Everybody in Lean Town, man, y'all went hard. You know, the last three three episodes that we had, every single track that we put on locally, man, has been fire. So, uh, and I'm not just saying that because you're from our hometown or nothing like that, but we just being honest, man. Y'all y'all got some talent, you know what I mean? So definitely continue doing what you're doing, and you know, and hey. All that you can look look forward to, man, is up. So, oh yeah, for sure. Uh, so I got a got a few tracks we gonna play today. You know what I'm saying? Of course, and this is like you know every time. What people don't realize, man, is that Chief, since he's on the other side, you know what I mean? Like we're not in the same location. He don't know what I'm what I'm about to play to him. So, you know, for him, he's just like y'all. He don't know what's going on or what's gonna be playing or who, what artist or what genre that we're gonna play. So that's why when you I'll see him. What? Ahead, man. I tell you what, you know that uh, you know that in that aspect, I mean that's what makes it even harder because you can't fake it when when you're recording live uh, because I mean you're giving your real reaction and you're actually mm-hmm. getting to see that. So I mean I I appreciate that more than anything because I don't think that I'd be able to fake saying, oh man, this is my first time knowing in the back of my mind I've actually listened to it. So yeah, I, exactly. I really love how that form is working out. Yep. So the first song that I got, man, was submitted by a guy named La- I hope I'm saying his name correctly. Uh Lazo on the beat featuring Cloud Boy Trouble. And the song's called Numbers Up. And uh 
from his YouTube channel, it says New York. So I'm guessing he's from New York. So cool. Um, cool. Let's check it out and see what he's about. There he goes. So the beat is dope. I like the beat. The beat is catchy. You know what I'm saying? Um, the auto tune thing, um, my preference, I really can't get with auto tune. I feel that um, actually, I think his lyrics are good, man. He, I think if he was not to use an auto tune, it'd probably come out a lot cleaner, a lot doper than what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think the lyrics is, is like they're on point. But when that auto tune starts, I don't know. It's just a weird, uh, weird sound, man. And uh, you know, sometimes it fits people, sometimes it don't. But I'm not really a fan of auto tuning. So, me personally, man, I'm gonna say so far the beat's clean. I like the beat. the The lyrics are good. I just feel the the auto tune. I'm not really feeling it. But I mean, he's coming with some energy and stuff. I just it's just the auto tunes throwing me off. But hey, you know, you still do your thing. You know, what I'm saying that's that's your style and that's what you like to do. So. I can't hate on it for that, you know what I'm saying? So that's just my opinion. But what you got for it so far, Chief? What you think? Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. I, I've just I've never been a fan of Auto Tune. Uh, you know, it's uh, I don't know. It just it drags for me, and it's just not something I guess my ear likes. Uh, again, like you said, I'm just I'm, I'm not saying that he needs to change the style. Or that's his style. Yeah. Uh, Lyrics are definitely on point. They're kind of sticking to the subject of, you know, getting your numbers up and, uh, you know, streetwise, I, I, I get it. Um, like I said, man, it's just the, it, it's just hard to hear that. And um, I mean, I'm, not, I'm definitely not trashing it. It's just no, no, no. The, the simple fact that I, uh, it's, again, me and you agree on a lot of musical aspects and, you know, auto-tune is just something that we've never brought into the studio. No. Uh, no, nothing that we've ever liked to, to kind of hear. But uh, again, I mean, I can't front him, you know, can't front him on his style because, I mean, if that's him, then that's him and that's kind of a New York thing. So, yeah. Um, but, you know, I I didn't I didn't really care for that drop at the bottom, you know, uh, right before you paused. Yeah, that's, that's and, what kind of threw me uh, off a little bit too, man. I was like... Uh, mm, I think yeah. that really drugged the song song down. But again, I'm just critique uh, what you know as a fan, and uh, you know that's that's about all I have to say right now on it. I yeah. mean, uh, much love. I mean, because yeah. if if he wasn't doing it, then he wouldn't be doing anything. So I'd rather him be doing something than not not doing anything at all. So I'm not gonna uh, again critique him too hard. It's just it's not my sound. Exactly. So I'm gonna go ahead and just play, you know, his second verse real quick and, you know, go from there, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, yeah. like we were talking about before, it may not be our preference as far as the auto tuning, but at the same time, what he's talking about, you know, people can relate to, you know what I'm saying? And also his lyrics are on point. It's just the auto tuning part. But let's go ahead and um, listen to that. Let me, uh, let me just say, I mean, yeah. let me back you on that, that 
that beat is that beat is dope. That beat I mean, is dope, uh, man. Yeah, yeah I, I love it. So, but it, like I said, it's not a horrible song. It's just, a, nah. it's just not my sound. Yep. All right, let's check it out real quick. Street. I get a check from my little niggas and we like to run it up. I hear these niggas say they really get it, but they ain't going dumb as us. Cause we run them numbers up from when the boss bring it somewhere up. And had niggas mad at the little bitch, so fuck it, she come with us. Cause we run them numbers up, my nigga, yeah, we run them numbers up. Say we run them numbers up, my nigga, yeah, we run them numbers up. Say we run them numbers up from when the boss bring it somewhere up. Say we run them numbers up, my nigga. Yeah, we run them numbers up. They say you're too cocky, little nigga. But that's cause I come from the slums. I remember whipping in the kitchen thinking I get a brick I'll be on. I ain't never going broke. I don't never think I stop selling dope. I'm forever pistol packing if you try to jack. I lay you out to the floor. I keep a pocket rocket, try to ball a block me. And you won't be blocking no more. If I cock a partner, then your body rocking, knocking your brains out to the floor. All of my niggas don't fire on. That's why these niggas don't try none. You got a problem, come try to drop it. We gon' pop your partner, we don't swap none. Cause I get money, they hating on me But I would not let them intrigue Said I'm stacking these hundreds, ain't nobody dumb And like TV, they wonder about me Said I'm about that action, I did this ain't no action Ain't nobody handling me This pistol I'm packing, put you in a jacket Can't nobody have to compete I get a check from my little niggas And we like to run it up Yeah, see like, the his flow is dope You know what I'm saying? I'm not even gonna lie, the flow is dope I like, I like the way he's flowing, I like the lyrics It's just the auto-tune part Like the second verse it seemed like it still had auto tune, but it wasn't as bad as the first the first verse that he had with auto tune. But he still had that little, I'll just kind of I don't know. It does something with his voice when he does his little thing. It's but just, uh, it's just so wavy, you know. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's that's the word I was looking for, wavy. And uh, I mean, um, if he maybe put some like I don't know, man, like something uh like a reverb or something maybe without the auto tune, like just have him do his thing, maybe like a little reverb. Maybe a little echo or something, man. It might sound a lot better because I mean, uh, that's just what I feel, man. I mean, he's like I'm saying, what he's uh, talking about. I mean, it's good, it's dope, it's real. Yeah. You know what I mean, I was just saying, like the second verse, it was uh, kind of talking like how you know, like he sounded kind of like a little little Wayne on there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on the second verse, uh, midway through, and then it just sound, it, it went back to his regular voice, um, but. And it's just that it's crazy with auto tune because you you think it corrects your 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 waves and and, and it, I I, did, I tend to disagree I don't, I don't think it does uh, correct it um, but to each their own man I mean you know the the lyrics again they were good I thought I heard you know some of them you know this cooking up in the kitchen and. It's a Migo sound, so I mean, it's a uh, maybe, maybe uh, I don't know. To me, it just it sounded like a couple of used bars from from other artists. But other than I that, that, I mean, I, I yeah. you know, but it, it's not saying that he you know jacked their words. It's just it just sounds like them, and it's been used before. Uh, but like I said, not not hating. I mean, not no. Nah, I mean, I'm trying to. A- yeah, we're not trying to diss the dude. Yeah, we're critiquing him, man. It's just uh, auto tune is just something that we're not really a fan of, and it's uh, not trying to knock anybody that's that's using it, but it's just something that I mean I can't get with. It's just it just it's a weird sound, you know what I mean? Uh, there's some people that can uh, use it, but it's not as bad like that robotic voice. They kind of just use it to kind of you know for pitch correction, like the little uh, the note correction. My bad. But I mean, some people can use it where you can barely even hear that it, that it has it. I just don't like the robotic effect on it. You know, the waviness, like Chief was saying. Um, but that's my own preference. But overall, as far as the song, the song title, the the hook, the lyrics that he was saying, what he was spitting, some real some real shit right there. And um, the beat was on point. The beat, you know, I could see people just you know vibing with that again. You know just feeling it. So, I mean, I, I'm not even going to knock the song. It's just the, the auto-tune for me is what kind of threw me off in the whole song. So, my opinion. Yeah, I agree. All right, man. So, I have to say, you know, uh, much love to uh, Lazo on the beat featuring Cloudboy Trouble. And um, Lazo on the beat actually made the beat. So, nice. you know what I mean? So, hey, you killed that beat, homie. You know what I'm saying? We might have to hit you up for a beat. 
Um, all right, the next person we got that submitted the track is Molly Blanco, and she's from San Antonio, Texas. And the song that she gave us is called Let's Go, the radio version. So we um we gonna play it and um give you our thoughts on it. But you know what I'm saying? Let's let's go ahead and uh check out Molly Blanco. <laughs> say everything good you know what i'm saying um the hook is catchy man the heck is the the hook is catchy and then when she starts spitting bro and that beat starts flipping man dude that just like made it to like a whole brand new song almost man it, it just gave that that track life you know what i'm saying because when she spits she spits you know what i'm saying she she uh i love her flow man her flow is dope and uh i don't know if you know this or not man but she was actually in the album with Eternal, uh, a.k.a., well, Mr. Never Die, a.k.a. Eternal, the Texas OG album. I believe she's on that one, on that album as well. But, um, man, this, I, didn't I didn't know she could sing. Yeah, I didn't know she can sing, but it looks like she sings and she raps. So um, I like the harmony on it, you know, and then, of course, the, the rapping, though, bro. The rapping, she, man, she's a badass rapper, so... Uh, and the beats dope too. The beats is different, but it got I mean it got that new school flavor, but it just it just got to it's up tempo and it kinda goes down a little bit, but I don't know, it got to bounce too. I like it. What you think about it, Chief? Yeah, it's definitely got like a kind of like a low key, like Midwest sound. Yeah. Where uh I don't know, some I don't know, just Midwest, it just kind of sounds to me. But, yeah, definitely. I mean, like, the way she flowed on it from going from the hook to the to the verse, I mean, very versatile on, on that. And, 
man, I mean, she, definitely, she spit fire, man, and uh, I, I really enjoyed listening to her. I mean, you you wouldn't catch it, but I think what was that three or four verses she put on there? I mean, yeah, yeah. That, uh, I mean, just it, the whole entire song, you know, it flowed really well, and and again, the hook it was very catchy. Uh, I like the kind of twist that the the beat had on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I kind of like that. I mean, it, it just made it all sync together, and I, and I can't, I can't help but say like, it was it was crisp like all the way through. Like you know, like sometimes you kind of hear some ad libs in the background, or yeah. uh, but but no, man, it was just it was crisp all the way through. And yeah, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. It's almost like he was uh in the studio with her when she's recording it. You know what I'm saying? Like you just chilling. Yeah, there. She, yeah. She's right there in front of you, just rapping, singing. You know, kind of like auditioning, man. But it was dope. I liked it. Um, at first when I first heard it, of course the beat comes in. You know what I'm saying? It's you know you just vibing, vibing with it. But as soon as that that rap comes in, man, that beat just changes. Then you start rapping, man. Yeah, that's. I like that song. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate you uh throwing that to us because uh. That's dope. I mean, I just got, I got, now I got to hear the um, explicit version, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> you gave us radio version. So now we got to go check out the real one. So I know that's probably the reason why you gave us the radio version. Cause you're like, oh, you, you're going to check that out. But if you like it, you're going to go on my Spotify and everything else to check out the real one, which I will. So I'll support you on that. So I much. respect that though. I, I, yeah. I respect sending in the radio play. I mean, because yeah. you never know who the audience is, and uh, mm-hmm. and I respect that. Not saying that we've ever said, "Hey, just send radio edits." Uh, we, you know, we've it's never all said good. That. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's good. If you want to send a radio a radio edit of your track, we'll more likely, you know, we will play it. You know, what I'm saying it don't have to be cussing or nothing like that to get radio play or you know a show play on it at all. So, whatever you submit to us. Hey, we'll try our hardest to play it. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of people that's been throwing us tracks for upcoming episodes, but if you want to try to get on the show, just submit it, you know, submit the music to me or Chief, you know what I'm saying? And and um, we'll do our best to try to get down there as soon as possible. So, well, other than that, you know what I'm saying? I, I appreciate, you know, uh, Texas, uh, you know what I'm saying, resident, you know what I'm saying, and uh, showing us love too, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to Molly Blanco in San Antonio, Thanks. Texas, killing it. Not only sing, much, but she raps. You know what I'm saying? So that's dope. Much double, love, Saytown. Much love. Double threat over there in the 210. <laughs> right, hey, what's right. up to my boy Fay Dog? You know what I'm saying? 210. What's up, man? Probably out there I slapping stand, somebody man. right now. What's up? That boy, I said that boy out there slapping somebody, I'm sure. <laughs> Slap yourself. Up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, that's OG right there. Saytown right there. Yeah, OG. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um... The next track I got, man, is actually um, somebody asked me to play this artist. So the artist didn't, you know, didn't submit this track. I guess uh-huh. it was just somebody was talking about, hey, y'all need to check this dude out. His name's Syl Johnson, and the song's called Let's Go, just like Molly Blanco. So oh, okay. um, I never so heard this. Yeah, what's that? that? That's, I guess that's the theme for tonight. Let it, let's, let's go. go. Let's oh, go. Yeah. You know, quit talking. Let's go. Let's <laughs> go with the music. That's what we're trying to do. So uh, let's check out Sill Johnson, S I L L Johnson, song title, Let's Go. I don't know where he's from, but um, on here it says he does R&B. So we're about to put some R&B music up in here. Man, you know what I'm saying? Man, if you're coming to that fire, I might have to hit him up for sure. Exactly, man. So let's check it out. Let's go, girl, yeah. Oh, no, listen, listen. Kid. Uh, yeah. Let's go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Baby, I know you want to roll. Let's go. We can get it off the show, baby, you know.
lose Cause I know you really want me To make you say my name Let me beat it out the frame Girl, I ain't none of them lames Who be running game on you Just to get inside your pants I'm just saying, I'm a real man Baby, that's no lie You so fly And I really think you might just be my type Let me make you my tonight Not only for the night Give me that one chance And I'ma rock your body like I know you wanna leave with me Girl, let's go, girl I know you wanna leave this place Baby, I know you wanna roll Let's go, we can get it off the show Alright, Chief, since you're the R&B king over here, bro <laughs> I want I want to get your your reaction and um, your critique on this song. What what are you feeling about this song, brother? Digging the lyrics. Uh, I mean, that, that's what we're here for. Yeah. The um, uh, the production, the recording, the mastering is a needs a little fixing. Um, I agree. You know, if I had to. If I had to critique, in all honesty, it um, his his lyrics uh, they all kind of drag, which means he needs to find a filler somewhere, or break it up where he can hold those notes a little bit longer just to make it sound crisper. Uh, but I mean, what he's saying and what he's singing about, I mean, I, I can't um, discriminate on his voice because I think his vocals are there. Uh, it just you know. You know, I don't know if he's starting out fresh. I don't, I don't know what you know what his background is, but definitely know that uh, you know it. It, it kind of sounds like maybe you know first of you know songs. Maybe you know again, I I don't know the numbers of songs that he has, and I appreciate the person sending this to us because I mean, if uh, Seal listens to this, then I mean, you know, we can help him out in that that aspect of. Either we need to drag it out a little further towards the end than in the beginning, or said you know fill in some words in there that makes it uh, flow a little bit better. But uh, yeah, definitely needs to work a little bit on the crisp part of that. But like, again, the mixing I think throws it off a little bit too because I think his vocals are a little bit higher than than the music. Yeah, and I agree with you on everything you just said, man. Because the the mixing, the recording of it, the mixing and the mastering makes a big difference in a song. So, I mean, you can have a hit single or a hit song, whatever, but if it don't sound good, then ain't nobody going to want to listen to it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel exactly what she feels like. I feel that his notes and stuff like that, um, it, he got a good voice. He just needs to work on it. You know what I mean? And maybe he's like, like Chief was saying, I don't know how long he's been singing. Um, I don't know how many songs he has. Um, I don't know who he's working with. You know, maybe he needs to work with somebody that can um, help him on his his vocal his vocal stuff. You know what I mean? Because he does got a good voice. Um, it just needs to be trained. And um, you know, hey, if uh, Seal's watching this, bro, give my boy my boy Chief the seminar over here because that boy will uh, definitely help you out, man. Uh, that boy got uh, he's worked with a lot of different people, man, and. A lot of people will tell you if you work with Chief, man, he'll definitely help you out and step your game up. You know what I mean? And no disrespect to you, man, because you're doing your thing. And um, I like what I hear so far. It just needs to be polished. And after you do that, bro, doing your thing, you know? So. Yeah, the, the vocals are there. The vocals yeah, the are vocals there. are there, man. Uh, yeah. I mean, you could tell from the beginning, you know, when he hit his little ooze, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I, that caught me right from the get-go. You, know, you, you never know an R&B artist, they can hit those notes, but when it actually comes to like putting words together and flowing on the track, it, uh, it it's a whole different thing. It's a whole different part of the game. Yeah. And, uh, you know, more than willing, more than willing to put my name out there and help you out. Uh, you know, any, any kind of training, you know, like if you want me to, you know, need some help writing to put that stuff in there. If you need, uh, you know, just even me to vocalize for it. And then you go back and kind of repeat, because I've had to do that with some R&B artists uh, to actually put it down. I can't hit those notes, but I know what it should sound like. And, uh, you know, I'm willing to do that. And, you know, don't, 
right now don't don't worry about a price uh you know just trying to put your name out there because uh there's not a whole lot of male vocalists out there that can carry the tune the way that you were doing in the beginning so uh you know much love for that and one thing i will say that i do like about him man is he bringing back like the old 90s like slow jam type music that's what it seems like to me it reminds me of back in the 90s where um that was like real r&b you know what i mean like as far as in in our generation like Man, I just, I just I just miss those days, man. I miss that music, and so to have somebody like you, you know, bring that out, man, into the new generation is 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 awesome, man. For real, I, I like that sound, man. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, play the rest of the song, man. I'm, I'm I'm anxious to hear what else you got in the song, bro. So let's, let's check it out real quick. And again, this is Syl Johnson. Let's go. Still over here is like the two short R and B singer over here. That boy talking about put your shoulders, I put your legs on my shoulders and let me bend you over. And golly, I thought two short was about to come in here, you know, saying to start doing a the verse there for a whole minute, you know what I mean? But man, hey, still, yeah, dude. Not, not only that, I thought maybe you were gonna put a verse on there because yeah, you know, I, I felt like just you know getting, getting ready to start dropping something, there. man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, poetic thug and big booty lover, man. I was about to start. <laughs> Put some lyrics to that track, right? Dang. Yeah. But uh, nah, I mean, you saw me whenever I said, uh, "Put your legs on my shoulders and let me bend you over." I was like, "Yeah, that could do something with this track." You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just <laughs> well, you start noticing all these episodes every time something like hap- something like a, a a track or you know like a a verse or a phrase, whatever. Somebody says something like that. Chief always be like, "Hey, there you go, PT. That's a song for you right there, man. I know you can get on that track." So, uh, yeah. and if you don't know, if you, if you never heard my, if you never heard my music before, <laughs> go check it out on Spotify or iTunes, Apple Music, because then you'll know like what he's talking about. You know what I'm saying? And then about the R&B stuff, go check out Chief the Seminole on all your streaming platforms, because then you'll know why I say he's like R&B king over here, because this dude can write some good songs, man. He, you definitely need to check him out. So. Yeah, I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Well, overall, man, uh, I no, dude, like I said, yeah. man, he, uh, he, no, I was just saying, man, I, I, like I said, it's there. It's just, you know, you gotta polish up some things and, and, uh, you know, I always say put that sauce on it. You know, we just got, we just got to find somebody to put that good sauce on it. Yeah. And, uh, man, that song really is going to be fire. I mean, cause, man, that, that brought me back. You know, we were talking about episode two having, uh, uh, what's his name from, uh, Sons of Funk. I mean, that's, that's the yeah, kind of Rico, music we can yeah. ride through, man. Yeah, so, I mean. Much uh, love to Rika Crowder, too, man, because, man, thank you for that song, man, from, you know, Sons of Funk. Appreciate that. But go ahead, man. Yeah, I just want to give him a little shout-out real no, quick. I'm just saying, you know, uh, you know, just listening to, you know, growing up on Jigger Edge, you know, uh, you, know uh, you know, listening to Jigger and all that. I mean, it's there, man. It's it's there. We just, we just need yeah. to sauce it up. I definitely need to figure out where he's from, man, because I don't know where he's from, but he does got something there. I just, you know, I just don't know where he's from, bro. Maybe we have to look him up. But if you do end up watching this before we see you or, you know, hear from you, man, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Much love to you, bro. You're you doing your thing, man. I like what you're doing. Just continue uh, making stuff happen, man, and work on your craft because, <laughs> dude, you, you got it, man. What, what you're talking about is dope, so. Um uh, 
we're gonna take it back to Lean Town real quick. Um, I know we had this uh, this guy here. We didn't have him here, but we had a song that we actually you know played. Uh, his name's Mike Mix. He did hit me back up, and he's like, "Bro, I got a new song, and I want you to play it, bro." I was like, "All right." What's it called? It's called "I Need Your Body." So Mike Mix, bro, he's he's coming with a, a track called "I Need Your Body," man. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of kind of really figure what this is gonna go on to, but you know what I'm saying? I have to show Lean Sound Love. You know what I'm saying? Mike Mix, bro. I appreciate you uh, checking out the, the episodes, bro, and showing love, man. I see you out there helping us out, man, and, and doing your thing because Mike Lean, I mean, Mike Lean, my bad. I'm sorry, man. Mike Mix. Hey, Mike much love to Mike Lean, too. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Both y'all from Lean Town anyway, so it's all good. Mike Mix, man, he definitely be, uh, he be really putting that work, bro. I know he's putting in work. And like you said before, um, I ain't going to talk about his business, man, but at the same time, bro, for – continue doing what you want to do in your situation bro i salute you for that bro you know what i'm saying because that's the motivation just by itself man so salute to you on that bro and mike mix like you hit me up earlier man i'm gonna send you some work uh you know i got something i I know you can feel and dig and uh you told me you could do anything and i might i think i might have to put you to test on that because uh when somebody throws out a challenge like that man uh i got you already well, let's check it out. Uh, I'll go ahead, my bad. I'm sorry. Because uh, in all honesty, my boy PT knows how I write, and uh, and it can be a challenge for somebody to hop on there. That's why a lot of the times I don't have a lot of features on my songs. Yep, that's real. All right, let's get back to this. So here's a song by Mike Mix called I Need Your Body, exclusively here on the Lyrical Lounge with me and my boy Big Chief, a.k.a. Chief the Seminole. Represent that lean, baby. All right, let's put this down real quick. Let's check it out. Tell a girl I love, I wanna tell it right Means more than a hug, this is destiny, I'm hooked Baby, you're my drug, my perfect right when I'm down You lift me up, she tells me life ain't so bad And then she takes the clothes off Light brown skin, pretty smell, and it's so soft I tell her you ain't got it, she replies I want to, it to go and make it happen Now until around two A beauty when she sleeps A princess when she speaks We both naked in the sheets She whispers, baby, you can teach I tell her to get some sleep In the morning we'll go eat Then we'll shop for some Santa and we'll fly out to a beach Catch it, yeah, and see the sea See what's meant to be If it's me or if it's we If it's you or if it's she Then I wake from the dream And kiss her on the cheek Shorty body banging She was meant for me, girl I want your body, need your body All right, man I like what he's talking about, man You know what I'm saying? He's basically saying, hey, I need your body it Almost reminds me of like Rendezvous, the remix You know what I'm saying? How On your song, you're talking about, you know okay. yeah, 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 yeah That's what it kind of reminds me of um, As of right now, as a critique Am I, you know, just from hearing that part right there The only thing that I don't like, man Is just the, the recording and the mix And that's just me personally, bro I just feel like it needs to be cleaner, man um, The concept is dope the beat is tight, man. The the beat's a little different than what I'm normally used to hearing, but it's dope. It fits what you're talking about. Um, when you start rapping in the beginning, it almost kind of reminds me of, like Smooth Vega in a way, man. Just like the vocals, man. It almost just Smooth Vega got that that, that voice. It's a, little, it's a different voice, man. He kind of reminded me of that a little bit, but um, the lyrics he was saying, man, was tight. It's just uh, 
it's the recording, man. Uh, the mixing, I guess, on it just kind of throws me off. But we're talking about lyrics, so let's go with the Lyrical Lounge. Lyrics are on point, man. I like what he's talking about, and uh, and I'm feeling what he's saying, man. I mean, he's the one. Of, he's one of those artists, man. He if he talks about a certain subject, he's gonna stay on that subject, and the hook's gonna be matching what he's talking about. So, what do you got, bro? Uh, same thing. Uh, you know, the hook needs uh, somebody with some vocals. Yeah. Um, you know, not taking away from him. Uh, you may again, it's kind of hard to find sometimes. But, you know, if you're wanting to put a track out and you're feeling in your heart, you you know, you press record. Yep. Uh, he's two for two as far as the songs you know, going out for ladies. And you can tell he's a little ladies man. So, you know, I dig that. You know, yep. I'm a, Ain't nothing wrong with I'm that. A I, yeah, I'm a fan of that. So, uh, no, I just uh, – I appreciate where he's coming from. And, you know, I appreciate, you know, his motivation. Uh, like you said earlier, it motivates me to do, to do more. So – uh, but no, I mean, I don't take anything away away from him other than, like you said, the production and the mixing mastering. Uh, you know, I, I like the little oohs and ahs in the background of his hook. Uh, you yeah. know, I, I really feel that. I really think that gives the song an extra edge. So, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely feeling that. Uh, you know, and yeah, the lyrics are there. That's, yeah, that's what I want to hear. Yeah. So let's go ahead and listen to the second verse, man, and, you know, close it out with that song and see what you know what Mike Mick's talking about you know what I'm saying I already know you're talking about he needs her body and stuff but we finna see what else he wants to do to her body you know what I'm saying so let's check it out She draws the whip nice. She loves the way I live. I tell her it's life. Not much needed, but I can use a wife. The one I can lean on when things ain't right. One to share my feelings with. She'll give me good advice. Rest our heads on timber peaks, staring at the skylight. She tells me about a day and never tries to fight. This here is my dream, girl. The hard to find type. We agree on many things. Very few dislikes. Favorite drink is champagne. And she loves the rainy nights underneath the sunlight. Her body shines nice when the lights go out. She performs all night. Won't yeah. ask any Forms questions except baby to be right. Rest her thighs on my shoulders. And she drink is champagne. And she loves the rainy nights underneath the sunlight. Her body shines nice when the lights go out. She Forms all night. Yeah. Won't ask any yeah. questions except, baby, do you like? Rest her thighs on my shoulders and she whispers in my mic. I tell her she is perfect. She says, baby, you are right. A pretty lady in the day, a sexy freak at night. Nice. So it seems like the topic for today is putting legs on your shoulders. You know what I'm saying? So hashtag yeah, legs on your shoulders, hashtag couch potatoes. Couch potato, oh, yeah. hashtag legs on my shoulders. That's what it's saying. they're gonna be. They're gonna be thinking couch potatoes mean something else now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's just okay, just put hashtag couch potato. My bad. All right, let's leave it like that. But no, I'm just I will say though, man, like the two songs so far talk about having legs on the shoulders. You know what I'm saying? Then we had two songs that said let's go. So you know. Nice. Yeah. Perfect night, perfect yeah, night. Perfect night, man. That that means it's gonna be a good night with these with the next music coming up after all this stuff. But Mike Mix, man, you a ladies, man, homie. I can already tell, bro. You like yeah. spitting game, and you know what I'm saying. And obviously, you got that game, bro, because you putting out to the the paper and to the damn mic, man. You you doing your thing, bro. Um, I like what you're doing. I like the the roadmap that you that you're that you're taking right now. So definitely continue doing what you're doing, man. Just make sure that you get um better re uh, record you know in a better quality bro or have somebody makes a master but that's the only critique i'm gonna have to have for you bro that's not even due to lyrics man that's just due to um production pretty much man production engineering other than that bro you good on my list bro your lyrics are on point so i'm i'm not, i can't really critique you on all that like the only thing like chief was saying is just the hook part man if you just have somebody else you know sing the or do the hook maybe rewrite it or you know whatever 
perfect, bro. But other than that, you good, man. You good in my book. What you think, brother? Uh, he, he's got a fan of me because of the fact, like, the the subjects and topics that he talks about. I mean, you know, that's uh, that's my genre right there. That's yep. your genre. So, I mean, you know, again, like, that's uh, – yeah, I mean, I, I appreciate all that, you know. And it's, uh, it's funny because when he said uh, Rainy Nights – Maybe think yeah. of my song, Rainy Nights. <laughs> that's why I saw that little and smile you had it there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I kind of figured that's what it was, so, you know? Yeah. yeah a lot yeah. of people hadn't heard that one. Yeah, that yeah. one's locked that's down in, in the yeah, vault. In the vault. So. Yeah, it's in the vault right now. So <laughs> one day we might uh, open it nah, up, you know what I'm saying, and let you look in there and pick it out, you know what I'm saying, and release it to the world. So All, all, all I got to say is please don't, don't ask PT how many songs I have in that vault because <laughs> – yeah, you don't want to know. He it's gets, like it's like going to a bank, you know what I'm saying? You got like just money like everywhere. That's pretty much how his music is inside the vault. You got a whole bunch of them and yeah, it's yeah, it's crazy. I got here. I got I got more than Walt Disney in that vault. He ain't lying, man. And I thought Pablo had a lot of tracks in the vault, man, but this dude right here is takes the cake right here. I ain't gonna lie. It's it's, it's uh Chief the Seminole and then Pablo Picasso right there. So uh, uh, I'm sorry, man. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, let's not even talk about your music because I don't want you to start crying because all these songs that you got just in the vault and that, yeah, let's let's talk about something else, man. Let's talk about let's talk about Mike Mix around here. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, yeah. no, uh, good. Chief Chief is out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but other than that, Nathan, Mike Mix, man, he, he's good, right? Where he's at, he, he's doing his thing, right, bro. Right. He's, uh, yeah, and uh, like I said, wherever we can help him. Whether it be us or be somebody else, but yeah, I think the uh, the recording is is probably the only thing right now. I don't, I truly don't know if he records himself or what yeah. it is. So if, if if that's then hey man, you know we got you know talk to this dude right here because he can help you out on that yeah. that mix and the mastering. For yeah, real, you if just send, it by yourself. Bro. Yeah, just send me the the tracks, bro, and I've definitely you know jump uh, throw into Pro Tools and mix and master for you, bro, as much as I can. So. Yeah, just shoot me a, a message, Brian. You got all my information, so definitely do that. But, uh, yeah, overall, man, you do your thing, bro. I, I salute you on that, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Excellent. And uh, so the next track, you know, <clears throat> you know, now that we're on Lean Town Artists right now, I do have another Lean Town Artist, man, that submitted the track. And uh, he used to go by Boston Green, uh, but now he goes by AR Green. And he got a song called Howling, like Howling at the Moon, featuring Shaggy. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and, okay. and and check that out, man. You know what I'm saying? We got we got to show love, man, to these uh, Lean Town artists. You know what I'm saying? We we definitely uh yeah. we definitely like what y'all doing, man, and y'all making stuff happen. And you know we're about to showcase your art right here, bro, on the lyrical oh, line. Just, uh, just keep that L up, baby. No, I'm show ready. love. You already know. Hit the stars, 
starts asking what's the move I've been running for so long, baby I'm so tired, I'm just ready for the reaper to take me Lately I've been howling at the moon Hit the stars, ask them what's the move I've been running for so long, baby I'm so tired, I'm just ready for all right, before the next artist gets on there, man, you can tell this dude had like a lot of pain in this track, bro. Like when you hear oh, yeah, this track, cool. man, you can you can feel what he's talking about, bro. Like, man, yeah, it's it's deep, it's deep pain. Yeah, um, I appreciate songs like that too. I mean, because uh, you know, there's there's a lot of pain out there that a lot of people don't understand, and sometimes this is the only way that we can we can break that barriers by writing music like this. So uh, I have much love on that. And on top of that, man, like you, you just don't know what the listener is going through. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of people that's in the same boat as him, you know, whether he's still in that, you know, in that, what he's feeling like in that song, or if it's something at that time that he was going through, he just wanted to put it down on record. So, you know, kind of share it with the world. So the people that are going through it um, can relate to it. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah. I, I ain't gonna lie, man. That kind of got me off guard a little bit because you don't really hear songs like that. You know what I mean? Especially in uh, especially in Lean Town, man. That was that was real different than what I've been hearing from other artists in the city. You know what I mean? So it's kind of uh, it's refreshing to hear that too. You know, through uh, somebody else in the city that's uh, that's doing something different. It almost kind of remind me of uh, like Jelly Row. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Jelly Roll got that that pain music, you know what I'm saying? He's, you know, he's kind of like zero a little bit, man. They they um they put their emotions on their sleeve, you know what I'm saying? So like you you can you can uh, they you can feel their music, man, because they put it out there like that. So so far, man, what I hear, man, I mean, it sounds good, man, and the lyrics are on point, man. The the I can feel the pain and especially in his vocals, man. You can he's letting people know with his vocals, man, that he's going through some pain too on top of the lyrics. So I, I feel the same way. I mean, uh, the, just just the fact that uh, you know, uh, you could just tell from the get go, from when the beat dropped, that there was going to be some type of story behind this, and uh, kind of wasn't expecting that. You know, hearing Howling, but you know, he's uh, you know, he's definitely in some pain, and and uh, you can feel it through through the lyrics on that. Yes, sir. So let's get back on the track and listen to um, Shaky, I believe. Yeah, Shaky, S-H-A-C-K-Y. So check it out. Running for so long, baby. I'm so tired, I'm just ready for the reaper to take me. The grim reaper right in front of my eyes. There's got to be more on the other side. I don't want to die, but man, I'm curious. I probably go out like Paul Walker, fast and furious. R.I.P. to Shaggy and Austin Green and anyone else in between who feels like we do, wishing for a redo. Trying to hide it, but it's probably about to bleed through. I'm tired of chasing my own tail like a dog. Trying to see clear, but I'm caught up in the fog. The way I live my life, I probably won't live long. I've been waiting by the phone for the reaper to call. I don't really know what I'll be going. What's up, bro? Hey, uh, run that back. I mean, what did he say? Rest in peace to him and Austin Green, or who that's what that's say? what it sounded like. That's all I was kind of, yeah. Let me let me run that back. So, man. you know, because you said he was going by Boston Green first, right? Yeah, he was going by Boston Green first, yeah. Okay, well, his, no, well, I, but I think his, okay, so his real name is Austin Green, like Austin, Texas. So I don't know if he's saying Austin or if he's saying Boston. You know what I'm saying? But I do know that his rap. I thought he said Austin. I thought he said Austin in that verse, but yeah. he said to himself too. So like, is he calling himself something else, or maybe I should listen through the rest of the, the verse? I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm I'm gonna go right there with you, man, because I was kind of like wondering about that myself, man. Let me, let me play that back for you. Lately, I've been howling at the moon. Hit the stars, ask them what's the move. I've been running for so long, baby. I'm so tired, I'm just ready for the reaper to take me. Grim Reaper, 
right in front of my eyes There's gotta be more on the other side I don't wanna die, but man, I'm curious I probably go out like Paul Walker, fast and furious R.I.P. to Shaq E and Austin Green And anyone else in between Who feels like we do, wishing for a redo Trying to hide it, but it's probably about to bleed through I'm tired of chasing my own tail like a dog Trying to see clear, but I'm caught up in the fog The way I live my life, I probably won't live long I've been waiting by the phone for the reaper to call I don't really know what I'll be going through I don't even know what I'm supposed to do Lately I've been howling at the moon every night If you're quiet, you just might hear me like oh. Lately I've been howling at the moon yeah, because basically he's talking about, man, like, they're chasing their tail, bro. Like, everything they're doing, they're never, they're not getting nowhere in life, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, almost kind of like they just gave up. Like, it's pointless to live if you're going to continue, like, not to get better in life. Like you said, he's just chasing his tail the whole time in life. So, he's just, they're just waiting to get, you know, wait for the Reaper to, to, to call their name pretty much what the song's about. And you can tell, man, they must have both been going through some hard times when they did this song. They must have just, like, Hey, you going through some stuff? I'm going through stuff, man. Let's go ahead and just put on on the on song and this is the outcome, bro. I mean, that's I mean, it's uh it's a sad situation, bro. Like if you're really in that boat, man, um, yeah, you definitely need to talk to someone. Not saying that they're suicidal or nothing like that. I'm not trying to say that at all. But at the same time, I hope uh, not. no, I hope not. <laughs> but at the same time, it's also a thing where um you know, you may have a loved one that is going through some pain, you know what I'm saying? And you just have to make sure that you go out there and reach out to them because you don't, you never know what they're going through. So it's always good for you to, to reach out to your loved ones and let them know that you care about them and you love them because they could be feeling like them. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? Because there's some people that don't show, you know, emotion. They don't, they don't tell their, their feelings to other people. So you definitely have to, um, you know, reach out to them. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I mean, I feel the song, bro. The song's, uh, and it's on a different level, man. It's a yeah, it's it's a sad track, bro. Yeah, it really is. And and again, uh, hopefully they're not going through that situation. And I'm just gonna kind of tag along with you on what you're saying because I mean, uh, there's always a cry out for help if if somebody needs something. You know, please just check up on your loved ones, check up on your friends because you just you you never know. Yeah. And uh, you know, a lot of people say that you know they'll reach out for help, but there's also situations where they just they've had enough, and you know uh, you didn't follow the signs or whatever. Um, but you know, always check up on your loved ones. And so you know, I'm blessed that this song came along uh, on this episode because uh, I just feel like uh, you know we need to push that as well. You know, I mean, you know, we we have kids, we have. Uh, we have family members that may be going through that. And uh, yep. anyway, you know, it's, it, it is a serious topic. So, I mean, not that that, hopefully that's not why this song was written, but yeah. uh, you know, it, it is a very serious topic and uh, I, I appreciate them and applaud them for that. If, if this was their crying out, you know, uh, mad respect for putting that on paper and on uh, audio. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, but overall, man, as far as the lyrics on it, bro, what can I say, man? I mean, y'all boys spit your uh, your feelings out there on uh like on like I'm saying on a pen or you know on the mic, or whatever. But I, mean, I don't know if y'all freestyled that or not, or if it's just something that you wrote. And then y'all went to the studio and dropped it. But either way, um, I felt y'all's lyrics, man. Y'all lyrics are on point. Um, I feel a lot of people can relate to it. That's also a good thing uh, about music, man. Is if you can make it relatable to other people that are going through the same situation as you. And I'm not in the same situation as you, but I know there's a lot of people out there that can, you know, that can feel that kind of music, you know what I'm saying? And they, they can relate to it. And uh, so salute to you on that, bro, because that's, that's hard to make a connection to people with music, man, because if you can't build that connection with the, with the crowd nor with the, you know, the people in general, then you really ain't gonna ever make it, man, because people can't relate to you or your music. So uh, congrats on that, bro. Cause y'all, y'all did y'all thing in my, my point of view, man. It's like, y'all did good. I'm, I, I hear what y'all talking about and I felt what y'all was, was saying. So, yeah. Well, Anything you want to add, bro? Portrait. No, I just painted a good portrait. I mean, with their lyrics yeah. and um, a lot of people can't do that. You know, yeah. paint that picture with words and, you know, I salute them for that for sure. So we got, uh, we're going to change genres real quick. Um, <clears throat> We got a track called Las Vegas, Nevada by Stereo Whiplash. Um, they wanted us to play the music. I've heard this song before. I'm sure, I don't know if Chief has heard it or not. 
Yeah, I have. Yeah. Good, good track. But we are going to play it, though, because the band wants to play it. And um, it's a good track, and I feel like it, sh- it deserves to get heard. So um, I'm definitely going to play it and um, let y'all check it out. Like I'm saying, like we told you before, it's not just about rap music. You know what I'm saying? We also do R&B music, which you heard on the show so far. Um, we do like real life music, like you heard from A.R. Green and um, Shaggy. Now you're hearing some rock and roll right now. So let's go ahead and play this real quick and let y'all, you know. All you know, we need is all we need is country now. <laughs> <laughs> For real. So we'll go ahead and let the song play. We'll, t- you know, we'll talk about it after this and then what I would like to do, man, is have like the people that are actually watching the episode to go into the comments and uh, let us know what you think about the song by Serial Whiplash, song titled Las Vegas, Nevada, here at the Lyrical Lounge. Yes, sir. <laughs> Say, I'm out of breath doing that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> damn. Yeah, coronavirus. I don't know how they do that, man, but hey, shout out to Serial Whiplash. You know what I'm saying? Las Vegas, Nevada. You heard it here at the Lyrical Lounge. And they're from uh, Lansing, Michigan. So, Chief, I'm going to let you start it off, man. Uh, while I catch my breath real quick. Uh, <laughs> well, you, I, you know, let me first start right. off saying uh, you look like uh, Ned Schneebly from School of Rock. Up there, look at uh, Ned <laughs> sleeping, or was it? Uh, yeah, I know you're talking about. Hey, I know you're not doing. You're not doing the impersonation. Go ahead, bro. Uh, this is Ned Schneebly. <laughs> no, first you got to answer the phone call. Then you said. Then you got to drop it. Then you got to answer it back again. <laughs> yes, my speech is Ned sleeping. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we totally messed that up, yeah. but it's all good though. Yeah, yeah, we're a little off. It's all but right. Anyways, but anyways, anyway, we'll, we'll just say it's the delay in the video conference, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is, man. So it's not our fault. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, go yeah, ahead, bro. Well, what what you gonna say, man? Go ahead. My bad. 
And I, you know, I, I just can't help but love the energy that this band brings. I mean, the all the musical instruments that they put in there. I mean, they're all on fire. Uh, you know, if you haven't checked out episode two and three, uh, three, I kind of spilled the beans that I'm working on tracks with these guys. So uh, kind of flipping it up a little bit on my side, but, you know, not taking away from their, from their energy and from their, what they're doing. Uh, you know, they're, they're definitely uh, setting the pace up there in, uh, in Michigan uh, for where they're at. So, uh, you know, they're a great band. They got a great, uh, um, great guitarist and, uh, you know, I just like uh, yeah, I I, lo- I love listening to them. It's uh, it's fun to listen to, and it kind of gets that old school uh, old school rock. Uh, you know, like if if you've seen School of Rock, all the guys, the uh, bands that he tries to incorporate these kids to. I mean, uh, you know, they they bring that kind of old school rock to it, and uh, it, it's always fun to listen to. I'll say that, yeah, man. Um, <clears throat> so the lead guitarist is uh, Dakota Lahan. Um. The lead singer is Trevor, the uh, drum player is Drew, and the bass player is Nikolai. There's four uh, people in the band, and the man, they're awesome, bro. Like, I've seen them perform live in Lansing, Michigan for the Homegrown Throwdown. And uh, if you like their music, you'll definitely like their uh, their stage energy, their uh, performance, man. They're, they're amazing. So definitely check them out. And I believe they have a uh, YouTube on – or you have a YouTube channel called Stereo Whiplash Plus – Facebook, they have the Stereo Whiplash and Instagram, Stereo Whiplash. So make sure you check it out. Let us know what you think about them at the comments below. And if you're watching this live, you know, go on the little chat room right there and just let us know what you think about Stereo Whiplash. So let's go in, uh, let's go down south, man. Let's go to Houston, okay. Texas. Um, let's go to H Town. This song right here was submitted by Scripture King, featuring Little Villain, Let My Screw Bang. And I did the artwork for these people, man, and um, they're they're good cats, man. And um, I heard it one time. Chief's never heard it before, so I'm going to let Chief, after this, we're going to play this song, I'm going to get Chief's, um, you know, his critique on it, what does he think about it, stuff like that. And I'll give my critique after it, but um, I'm going to let y'all check it here at the Lyrical Lounge. Children, the Lord don't make no mistakes, although I know the good die young. All I'm asking, Lord, to look out for my brothers and keep them strong. You can catch me flying down the interstate. I sip a little of this, mix a little of that I give it all to bring you back Do it just like how did my last breath Keep on representing screws and Texas Keep my screw loud and banging I'm banging so loud And that's something never changing 
so I bang it by This for my school the nation And the love school up sound Top top just paper chasing Chop in slow down We do it for mafia, kings, you, yo, I'm here. D2, homie, I said the tier 21 gun salute for I'll be for being real. For putting me down with the set. SGS, you see, you won't regret. Low breaks, one of the realest. My captain, Loki to the fullest. Shorty Mac, Big Mellow, and Mo, yo. Mac Grace, I poke a pint for show. Paul Low, Sid Low, Grip Wood, what's so good? Hershey Wood is all good. Bought me OG, CB, Big Bug. Stu Love, the young star. ESG, Lil Flip. Lil O, when the boss from Walt Smith. Uh. All right, Chief, what do you think about the track, man? Let My Screw Bang by Scripture King featuring Little Villain. Uh, uh, definitely a Texas song. I mean, you can tell it's straight out of age town. Uh, you know, just it, it, it's a good writing song. That's, I mean, that's uh, that's for sure. Um, lyrics, I, uh, you know, I, I think he mentioned a lot more names than he did, you know, kind of spit bars, but you know, I can't hate him for that. You know, I mean, he's just representing Texas and talking about the screw thing and screw click. So, um, you know, I'm digging the digging the hook. Uh, the hook was nice. Uh, vocals could have been, you know, touched up a little bit, but you know, I mean, that, again, that's if I'm just being remotely picky. But uh, no, I mean, I, it's a good writer song. I mean, you know, you can't be from down south Texas and not be able to put a song like that together. So uh, you know, I dig it. Yeah, and I totally agree with you on that, man. Uh... I think, man, honestly, almost he was just kind of like paying homage, I guess, to the to the people that came up with Screw, you know what I'm saying? Came up with, uh, you know, the, the legends from down south, that, you know, the pioneers of uh, of down south Texas, you know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, that's what you're talking about, the, the names, you know what I'm saying? More spit names than actual, like, bars, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, I mean, I had, to give it to, I had to give it up for him for the homage, you know what I'm saying? Because I think that's what the whole intent was. So for that, you know what I'm saying, he, he did his purpose on it. Um, and Scripture King, yeah, he, he I mean, he, he's the one that sings the hooks. He's the one that does the second verse, the singing part. Um, yeah. he just got his own style, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, yeah, he, he's, uh, the hook though, man. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a catchy hook, you know what I mean? But yeah. No, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah. So, see, he's, he's doing justice, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I mean, critiquing, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I feel the same exact way, you know, just to polish up the, the hook, you know what I'm saying? And, and the vocals on it. Uh, but overall, man, I mean, it's it's a good uh, it's a good Texas song, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm over here just doing this, you know what I'm saying? Swanking, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and it, it kind of brings it's, back, uh, yeah, it kind of brings me back, man, to the old down south music, man. That that dirty state Texas shit, you know what I'm saying? And and I, I miss the I miss that kind of music, man. Just that whole style or whatever. And the only person that is actually doing that kind of music right now is you know Mr. Never Die. You know what I'm saying? That's bringing that stuff back, which is dope to hear. Plus, of course, you know Paul Wall. A uh, little kiki and stuff like that, but for the most part, man, I mean, let's bring that, let's bring that, uh, that genre back, man. The old school down well, south. Well, it's tight because you know uh, he um, he brought brought up the name that you never hear a whole lot of people listen to, and I still got the CD as the Wasp Uh You know, I I used to dig their music, and uh, anyway, I mean, just just straight Texas blood, you know, and uh, but you know, just to hear that name at the end, I was like, oh man, that's cool. Yeah, definitely paying homage, and you know, dis- no disrespect. I mean, it's yeah, of much not. love to all the all the artists that uh, you know had influence on all of us. You know, you can't you can't tell me uh, at least you know five to seven of those people that he named that we haven't all listened to or you know got some uh, uh, mad respect from. So you know, yeah, it's it's a great great homage song for real. And I just want to say. Uh... Man, salute to Little Villain, bro. You've been doing it for a long time, bro, since Shut Him Down Records. I remember that with um, 
with Ike Man and you had uh, Lil Bing and all them, man. So, hey, I, I salute you on that, bro, because you 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 one of the pioneers in the game too, man. So, uh, and you still doing your thing right now, bro. So that, that's good to hear and good to see, man. I mean, I see you doing your podcast as well. So, um, y'all definitely need to check out that too, man. Uh, and you got some new music coming out as well. So, and I appreciate y'all hitting me up for the, the album covers, stuff like that, man. We, we definitely doing a lot of work right now with, um, with the artwork. So I appreciate that. But yeah, man, um, we do got one more song though for, for tonight. It's okay. by an artist named, uh, Trouble Loke. He's, um, I want to say he's based out of New Mexico. I want to say New Mexico. And forgive me if I'm wrong, but I want to say it's New Mexico. Though. And um, it's featuring your boy, bro. My boy? Ritz. Nice. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So Trouble Oak featuring Ritz called Your Kind. So this is. Well, I'm you at- know, now, now I'm interested to see if, because Ritz pretty much kills anything that he gets on. Bro, and, Ritz is, yeah, go ahead, man, go ahead. I'm, I'm going to let you talk first. Go I, ahead, man, go ahead. I just know, like, if I were to get dude on that track, I would already know I'd get eight up, you know, because yeah. Ritz be doing it, man. Ritz yeah, is I'm, a catchy, um, majestic artist that just brings every different type of, like, topic that you could think about. Uh, you know, don't don't just sell him out on the drug part, you know, just – I mean, you really have to listen to his music to understand, uh, you know, the pain that he does go through on a daily basis. And uh, man, yeah. he, he's one of my favorite artists. And if you haven't heard him, dude, Google and, him. And like he mentioned, YouTube him. Yeah, and if and if you uh, haven't heard uh, Jelly Roll, you you really Jelly have Roll's got dope to know. too, man. Jelly Roll, um, I'll say, Jelly Roll, um, Yellow Wolf, Ritz, uh, they're probably the top three that I've actually been listening to for a long time now, man, but they, they just, they just seem like they get better and better, especially their, their music videos. The music videos are on point, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then the, of course the lyrics and the, the, what they're talking about is uh, my everyday people struggles. You know what I'm saying? So you got to give it up for that. You know what I mean? So definitely check it out. But um, yeah, I'm anxious to hear it. I ain't never heard a song yet. Trouble Oak featuring Ritz. Your kind, right here on the Lyrical Lounge for all you couch potatoes. Hashtag. Baby, baby. <laughs> Already. Had to hit that Ray Jr., I'm sorry. That's all good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> So I will say, man, that line that he said about he used to keep it 100 in the streets, but they wouldn't show him love back. You know what I'm saying? That that line right there, man, the, those bars right there, bro, like, I can relate to that, man. And that, that's probably one of the realest lyrics I heard in a while because a yeah, lot of people, you know, 
Oh, man. Go ahead, go ahead, man. I, but, no, I was just saying, I, I felt that as soon as he said that, too. I mean, because it's not – anything realer than that, you know, because you could give back all you want. You can, you can, you know, what we're doing even now, you know, like we, you know, trying yep. to give back love, but it doesn't mean that we're going to get that 100%, but no. you know, you gotta, you gotta live with that regardless, you know, and um, you know, to me, like, it, you know, it's just, it's just part of the game, you know, it, it's part of it. And uh, you know, I guess uh, you can either love it or hate it. I mean, you know, if, if you're about the streets, you got to you got to expect that from the streets. So uh, yeah, I mean it's a tough bar. I mean, I felt yeah, I like it and I saw movies. your your facial expression on it uh, also. Yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah, I don't want too much into you, bro. Yeah, when he said that, bro, I was like, man, that's that's a real that's a real bar right there, man. You know, but um another thing I would have to say too, man, is I noticed like okay, you got roots on the track. Now, you I mean, it's not bad that you did his flow. It's just when you do somebody else's flow like Ritz you're going to have to, you're going to be judged by Ritz standard. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like Ritz is right here. You trying to, you know, trying to do the exact same flow, man, it's, it's no comparison to what Ritz does, man. I ain't gonna lie. Well, I, me, me personally, I'd probably just do my own style. You know what I'm saying? And just, uh, I mean, he's going to kill you. He's going to kill you regardless. You know what I'm saying? But I will give it up to trouble Oak for actually attempting to do that flow. You know what I'm saying? And he did a good job on it. You know what I'm saying? Much love for you. I mean, yeah, much love to you for that. You know what I'm saying? Because not that many people would do that. So I will have to, you know what I'm saying, uh, salute you for that. And well, the, you know, I've never, I, go ahead. I was going to say, and just the bars that he was spitting, bro. Like, so the lyrics he was saying was some real, some real stuff right there, man. And I can relate to it. And I know other people can as well. So the lyrics are on point on top of that. So go ahead, go ahead man. Go ahead. I was just going to say, I haven't heard anything from this guy but i could tell you it you know coming from a uh, artist i i think he tried to do a rich verse and um you could just kind of tell it wasn't natural yeah if, if that yeah. makes sense you know and so um i you know i applaud him for trying like you did like you said but yeah, yeah i just I, I don't feel like that was a natural you know like if it was me like i would have gone you know, what Chief does, you know, and, yeah. and let Rich do his thing because I'm in, I'm no way near in, uh, in Rich's realm of uh, what he could do on a 16 bar um, yeah. verse. So, you know, uh, you know, I, I, I couldn't pay him homage by doing one of his verses yeah. for that. And, uh, and to be in all honesty and, and, you know, you may call me a jerk and ass, whatever, after saying this, but I probably would have paid a little bit extra for Rich to do my hook, uh, on, on a song with him. If I was going to go ahead and pay him for the feature, uh, anyway, uh, just because if, if you haven't heard his, his, uh, magic on hooks, it's ridiculous what he can, what he could do to a song. Oh, uh, yeah. he, he even can... if... go ahead, man. Yeah. He, he can change that to like a, Make the song from right here to like up there, you know what I'm saying? And like, man, yeah, go ahead, man. I think if they, I think if they heard him first on, you know, with the hook being the first thing that they hear, and they heard his his lyrics and his uh, his voice on that, I I think you that you would take your song to a whole another level. Not not dissing you, I, I'm just saying like I, I just think he would have taken it to a whole another level. People definitely would have listened and would have listened to you first, you know, as the first verse, but you know, hearing him, they would have stayed on the track a little bit longer. Yeah. Not saying that they, they would completely cut it off, but they definitely want to hear if there's real Ritz fans, they definitely want to hear what Ritz has to say. And as a fan of Ritz, I definitely want to hear Oh, That's a beat what, like yeah. this, he's gonna kill. That's why I'm I'm kinda anxious to hear myself, man. Um but I will applaud you, man, for you know, trying to go into his realm, you know what I'm saying, and do what what he does best, you know what I'm saying? Uh I ain't gonna lie, you have you have more balls than I would, cause I I, I would never do that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna yeah. lie. I'm not gonna sit here in front and say, if I ever got Ritz on the track, I'm gonna do the exact same flow with him and try to murder him. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, as because he's on my song, I, I I'll be mad enough to tell you right now, man. If Ritz was on the track with me, he'll kill me. But you know, that's that's me being real. And you, and who knows, man? He might have came with the intention. He already knew Ritz is gonna kill him on the track, but he's like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and go all out anyways, man, just because I'm going to try to, fight, you know, not fight, but 
I'm gonna try to compete with him in some kind of way with his flow. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know. But uh, like I said, I will applaud you for attempting to do that, man. And but the lyrics that you were spitting were on point, and uh, you did have bars, especially that street one, man. You know what I'm saying? How you did all the stuff for the streets, but they didn't show no low back type, man. That's that's a dope bars right there, man. But let's get back to the track, man, and let's see what Ritz has to say after all this. You know what I'm saying? Because after all, man, I mean, it is Ritz. I mean. <laughs> Let's check it out, bro. You know this. Yeah, let's let's check it out, man. I'm I'm anxious to hear this. I ain't never been a bitch like you, so I don't fuck with you and your guy. I like Rich, bro. Like he just lets you, yeah, he just smokes it, bro. Like he smokes tracks like like nothing, man. He smokes that shit like this meth or something like that, man. It gets people hooked on it. But the thing about him, man, that verse that he just spit, bro, basically just say he ain't gonna like all the freeloaders, you know, all these fake ass friends that he has, you know, hanging around with them and and all that stuff like that, just because who he is and buying them this, buying them that, bro. Like he's you know, you're not you're not the same kind of person as he is, man. He's gonna like he's like fuck y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, man. He he killed it, bro. I, I'm speechless on that track. And of course, I already knew he was gonna yeah. kill it right when I saw Ritz as a feature. I was like, yeah, he's gonna kill it. <laughs> he's gonna kill it. But before you say anything, man, I'm just gonna say, Trouble Oak. I will say, man, dude, I congratulate you, bro, for having Ritz on the track because not that many people have him on the track. So for you to have him on something, bro, that's dope. I would love to have Ritz on the track. So um salute to you for that, man. Go ahead, Chief. Uh, no, nah, man, that's uh yeah, that's a that's a big big artist right there because uh like you said, what he just his name on the track alone, you don't even have to listen to it knowing what Ritz is gonna bring to the table. Uh and I guarantee you uh you're not gonna hear repeated repeated verses or repeated uh, bars on, on his, uh, on his tracks. Uh, he's, he's just, oh my gosh, just the way he spreads it out. Uh, and, and like, you know, like the, the, you know, there's a big difference of what, you know, what you tried to do, you know, trying to be on, on that level. And you could tell that it just, it wasn't natural. And I'm not taking anything away from your, your, uh, and your lyrics, I'm not taking anything away from that. It's just, dude, like Ritz is that dude that just, I mean, he he knows how to eat up a verse. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I mean, and he, he's one that doesn't really have a whole lot of uh, um, features as well because he could just, no, he can yeah. eat up a track. Yeah. He can eat up a verse like nobody's business. And, you know, when um, when he was with Strange Music, I mean, yeah, you know, they all collabed together on certain songs, but you just felt like he was just in another genre or another world, man, because, I mean, not taking anything away from Strange Music, because Strange Music is a collab of, like, some great ar- artists like Chris Calico and Tech 9 I mean, them, them guys could just, I mean, they tear up their own music. I mean, you know, it's just almost like having... Uh, death row you know like back in the day where 
you know, only certain artists can, can work with certain artists. And, you know, these guys could do it all by themselves if they wanted to. They just decided to collab together. Yeah. And, um, you know, it, it worked for when it worked. But, you know, Rich moved on and, you know, he's still doing what he's doing. And if you haven't heard him, God, you know, I mean, check out his Spotify, check out his YouTube and, and get on yeah. his level because, I mean, the, the stuff that he writes is so dope. And the way that he can break down, you know, there's not too many people that can make a song called Crown Royal and make out a whole song about Crown Royal yeah. and, yeah, you know, open it yeah. the box and talking about slipping your fingernail through the through the uh, sticker to get to the bottle. Like, I mean, it's just the way yeah. he breaks everything down. It's just uh, it's professional. Man. Yeah, it's a dope track, too, man. And he just yeah, he keeps you interested into the songs. You know what I'm saying? That he's doing like he like you said, but. Yeah, man. I mean, Ritz is a beast, but I, I put it like this: and a lot of people are probably gonna get mad, but I always felt that Ritz was a lot better than Tech Nine. You know what I'm saying? And no hate towards Tech Nine, but I just felt that Ritz was just man. He was, I don't know. I just, I just felt that he, there was something about him that was a lot different. He just the way he chops himself up. He, he, got, he got a certain way that he does it, but everything that he says, man, it just it flows, man. It's just, I don't know. It's he's like the Eminem of chopping, bro. Like, I mean, it's, it's weird, but he's, he's dope at that. That's his craft. And that's his style, man. He's dope at it too. So. No, I totally agree with you. I mean, I, I've always felt that about Ritz. I mean, there's a, there's a good amount of tech nine songs that I feel and that, you know, I ride to, but you know, I, dude, I could put on uh, any Ritz album on, on YouTube or Spotify and, and, and drive, wherever I'm driving to, whether it be San Antonio or whatever, and, and just listen to that whole album uh, yeah. from front to back, man. And it's just, it's just a whole different feeling. Uh, you know, he put pain in his, in his uh, songs and, uh, you know, he's just one of those creative artists. I mean, it's not only what he does on, on, uh, on audio, but his visuals are crazy. And yeah. if you haven't checked it out, I mean, the, the song that he's got with, um, uh, well, uh, sleep at night with uh, Yellow Wolf. Name? Yeah, Yellow Wolf. Yeah, yeah. that's a, that's uh, probably that my song. favorite song for them, bro. Yeah, you know and I that's... remember you you plugged me into him mm -hmm. with that song, and he was like, "Dude, I could see you doing that yeah. type of music." And uh, dope, I'm, I'm nowhere near, <laughs> I'm nowhere yeah. near Rich's uh, caliber, but uh, yeah, you know, as far as uh, uh, painting a picture uh, the way that he does, I, I I I can I can hang there a little yeah. bit. But, uh, you know, uh, what's this cat's name again? I'm sorry. Like, uh, it's uh, Trouble Oak. It's Trouble he, Oak, okay. That was actually, when we are listening to the song, I was, like, backtracking to see where he's from. He's actually from Hobbs. So, Hobbs, Hobbs and Mexico. Mexico. Yeah, so he's okay. from there. And um, okay. for what I understand, he also, he's a promoter out there, too. You know what I'm saying? So, he promotes a lot of shows. So, um well, like I said, Trouble Oak, let me let me say this from the bottom of my heart, bro. Like, I'm not breaking you down. I'm not tearing you down, telling you to, you know, stop what you're doing. I just, I, to me, I just felt like it wasn't a natural flow. Uh, you were trying to just do, uh, you know, a writ song. With, uh, if you, uh, you had that opportunity again, I, I really feel like you, you should do, do you, man. Do your, your type of music. Again, like, I don't. I, I haven't heard much of you. Uh, well, I haven't heard any of your music other than. I mean, I can almost promise that there's probably a different flow uh, on your other tracks. And uh, anyway, um, but you know, the fact that you uh, took the uh, took the balls really to to put Ritz on a track that's that's amazing. It is, and I, I can't I, I can't down you for that at all. Yep. So I mean, that was man. I, I tell you what, man. Thanks for that track, bro, because, I mean, you killed it off in a good note, man, you know, especially with Ritz being on there too, man. Ritz, Ritz killed it. Um, so, like your chief was saying, I congratulate you for having Ritz on the track. You know what I'm saying? So, but, yeah, I mean, overall, it's a good song, man. Like chief was saying, it just needs, I mean, if you would have did your flow, man, it probably had the hook a little bit different, maybe have him do it or have, I don't know, it's just something else on the hook. I mean, I, I like the concept that you have on it. I just felt that it was uh, – I know it kind of did, it kind of fit, but then it kind of didn't fit. It just kind of felt it felt weird, man, in the, in the song. But overall, it's a good song. I like what y'all talking about. So I salute you, man, for you know getting Ritz on the track and just you know doing your thing, bro. Regardless of what you know what people like us would say about critiquing it, you still went in. You did the Ritz flow, you know what I'm saying? Try to do it as you know good as you could, you know what I'm saying? And I salute you for that. 
but um yeah man just you know continue doing what you're doing i ain't I haven't heard no other music besides this one as well, so I'm with Chief on this. I don't know what your original flow is, but um, I'm pretty sure it's different. But continue doing what you're doing, man, because obviously you're also a promoter too, so you're making things happen. So do your thing on that, and uh, continue with your your rap your rap career too, man. I mean, shoot, it's always good to have uh, different you know different options you want to do in life. So it's all good. Um, but yeah, man. I mean, to close out that show, man, that's. We had some good artists again, you know. Uh, we had a little bit of diversity. We had yeah. some some rap, some R and B, some rock and roll, um, some slow rap music. You know what I'm saying? That's more um, on the emotional tip. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I mean, overall, I think we had a good show tonight, man. You know, and yeah. I'm, I'm I'm ready for uh, the next one. You know, the next one, the next one, the next one. So, um, well. you know. Like me and Chief was saying before, man, uh, we just we love when y'all submit music to us because we're we get excited if, to check out new music. So if we're gonna if y'all gonna you know submit us some music, man, we're definitely gonna check it out on the show as soon as we can. But in order for that to happen, you have to send us some music. You know what I'm saying? So if you know somebody, or if you are an artist, either submit us some music or go in the comments below. And go ahead and tell us, you know, your artist name, the song title, uh, where you're from, uh, a link to your music, maybe like a YouTube uh, link or whatever, maybe a site. So that way we can check it out. And if you're not an artist, but you know some people, like as far as friends or an artist that's big in your city or something like that, drop a link. You know what I'm saying? We'll definitely check them out. And make sure that you hashtag Couch Potato, hashtag Lyrical Lounge. And let's go ahead and start getting that blown up because we're trying to we're trying to make this DSC TV channel out here on YouTube bigger than what it is. But we need y'all's help to make you know more of a, an audience for this channel. So um, this is to get everybody to check out the new music that we got coming out from you know the different artists and stuff like that. We're also gonna have different content. So you know we definitely need to get a, a bigger audience because we want to share everything to the world. But I'm going to go ahead and let Chief talk and, you know, let him speak his mind on what he wants to talk about. But, hey, I appreciate everybody that's checking out the channel and checking out this episode in our past episodes. So, salute to y'all, too. Well, yeah, uh, Couch Potatoes, I mean, we had another excellent night tonight. Uh, reviews looked really well as far as, uh, you know, episode three. Uh, nice little chat room, uh, uh, chat going on. And, uh, you know, just like – like PT said, man, just keep sending some stuff in. I mean, uh, we're not hurting for music. You know, we, we probably got a lot of uh, songs lined up at least through, uh, you know, probably another three or four more episodes. But, you know, keep pouring it in because, I mean, there's nothing but, but love coming through this. And, uh, you know, the feedback that we're getting, it's, it's uh, positive uh, for, the, for the most part. And, uh, but, you know, uh, you can't, you can't, assume that you're going to be out there enough by you just doing you and i'm not saying that you can't promote yourself by yourself but take it from us who have really tried to do that and and really try to promote ourselves for ourselves and not have a big time promoter behind us it, it's tough and and the fact that we're willing to you know uh frog and, and help you out without it you know at any cost to you uh you know, at this point and and you know, so that and tonight was just you know so three we said that episode was fire but you know I, I have to tell you like tonight was fire too because we did have different uh, aspects of music different genres of music and so that just makes me know and understand that we have got we're growing, you know, like we're, we're growing in these short little four episodes that we're, we're doing. We're, you know, we're, I'm not getting tired of this. Uh, and I know PT's not getting tired of this. So, you know, just again, just to let you know, man, like we, we love this. I, I know I love it from the bottom of my heart because I, I just, again, uh, even if there's some critiquing that we have to do, you know, you're still doing it and, and you were confident enough to put this on our platform. So don't take it harshly, man. Like, just know it's all love. And, and if you want to DM me, if you got some questions, if you got, you know, some uh, questions for PT, DM him on Messenger or Twitter or wherever, you know, come find us, man. Like, I mean, don't, don't be shy because you've already, 
broke the shyness by putting your music on here. And for the ones that, you know, are getting promoted by your friends, dude, like you should really show them love because they believe in you. And that's the hardest thing to find in this is, is the loyalty from, from your friends and family uh, that are willing to push you like that. And, you know, and, and, and to sidetrack off of that, the toughest people that you're going to find feel your music is actually going to be your family. So these friends that are out there, you know, respect their opinions. If they're telling you that you can make it, man, Hey, you can make it believe in yourself. And if you've got loyal fans behind you, do believe in them and let them push you as well, man, because there's nothing better than having a strong team, uh, behind you to support you. But, uh, you know, that's, that's really all I have to say for tonight. You know, I, uh, again, appreciate y'all sending in your music. Uh, you know, we, uh, we're enjoying this as much as you are and, uh, I can't help, but, you know, continue to salute all these artists that are sending this music in and, uh, and promoting yourselves because that's what you're doing. You're promoting yourself by putting yourself on this platform. Already, man. And, uh, I agree exactly what chief was saying, man. I agree with him 100%. So as of right now, not as of right now, but I just want to give a shout out to everybody that was on the show musically. Uh, Lonzo on the beat, Molly Blanco out of San Antonio, Mike Mix from Lean Town, Seal Johnson, Stereo Whiplash from Lansing, Michigan, Austin Green, a.k.a. A.R. Green featuring Shaggy. I appreciate that. I don't know where Shaggy's from, but I know uh, A.R. Green's from the Lean Town area. So shout out to you, bro. Um, from H Town, Scripture King, and Little Villain. Hey, salute to y'all, brother. Y'all, y'all doing y'all thing too out there in H Town. Uh, Trouble Oak, man, out of Hobbs, New Mexico. Hey, salute to you, brother. Thank you for the track. You know what I'm saying? And uh, congrats on the feature from Ritz. And uh, yeah, man. I mean, all y'all's music that y'all had tonight, man, was was good, man. It was dope. Um, I do like the different uh, genres, so I appreciate I appreciate that y'all doing that. So if y'all have any kind of genres, make sure you send them to us. You know what I'm saying? And I will leave with the words of wisdom right now is don't do music for other musicians, man. Do music for the people, the, the music lovers. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't stress that enough, man. It's cool to have, you know, other rappers or other musicians liking your music, but you need to find the people, the actual people that listen to music, the ain't artists to like your music. So do music for your fans, not for other artists. So I will leave with that. Yeah. But um, as again, you know, again, my name is P.T. Davila, a.k.a. Poetic Thug. And this right here is Chief the Seminole. Hey. Coming to you live, baby. DSC, <laughs> DSC TV here at the Lyrical Lounge. Hey, uh, y'all have a good night. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all's time that you have with us. And much love. Stay safe. Get away from that Rona. Fuck the Rona. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Peace, man. Y'all take care. Yeah.